Hi everyone and welcome. In the previous video, we have covered that how to create MQTT subscriber client in the JavaScript. So our JavaScript will act as a MQTT client or you can say MQTT subscriber, which will subscribe to any topic and it will receive the update of that topic. And we were monitoring that topic update in the console or you can say CMD, but we don't want to monitor that topic update in the CMD. We want to monitor that topic update in the browser then how we can do that so that thing we are going to cover in this video so this video is about how to monitor real-time mqtt data in the browser using javascript and the websocket so we don't have to rely on command prompt to monitor our data we can create our own html page with interactive graphics and we can monitor mqtt real-time data in the browser directly so let's see how you can do that so i'm going to use the same code for publisher okay which will publish the random data to any topic and we are going to use this code to subscribe to that topic and we will receive the update and we will you know publish that update to websocket and we will monitor our data in the web browser so let me show you the data flow diagram so what publisher will do so publisher will uh, publish the data to hive mq mqtt broker and with the help of any mqtt client we can receive that update okay but instead of any other client we are going to use javascript as a mqtt client or you can say mqtt subscriber we will pass the mqtt data to html page via websocket and we will monitor that topic value in the browser directly okay so this will be the our data flow diagram so javascript will publish the data to a mqtt broker which is hive mq mqtt broker and then after we will collect the data from hive mq mqtt broker to javascript and javascript will pass the data to html page via websocket and we will open that html page in the browser to monitor that data okay so i hope this thing is clear and if you still have any, any confusion in the data flow diagram then you can always ping me on telegram instagram whatsapp anywhere so let's see how this is going to be work so here is a two command prompt now this command prompt is uh, open inside the mqtt publisher and this command prompt is open inside the real-time mqtt data visualization in the browser using javascript in the websocket so i have already installed the required libraries in both of the folders now we just have to run our index.js file okay but before running the index.js file let me show you the content of the project folder so this is the content of the project folder to monitor real-time mqtt data in the browser so uh, you don't have to touch this index.js and ws.html until and unless you want to modify it okay and you only have to modify this config.json file to provide the mqtt broker details like ip address port number username password and the topic name okay and if you want to update the code as per your requirement then you can update these two files okay index.js and ws.html you can also rename the file as per your requirement but for me this is fine as a demo so i have used this name now let me run the publisher so we will run the publisher to publish the random data so we will use index.js to connect with mqtt broker and to publish the random data you can see random data is being published now we will uh, launch the index.js for this real-time mqtt data visualization so i'm going to use node index.js okay now you can see index.js is running okay for uh, real-time mqtt data visualization now what we have to do is we have to open our html page in the browser so i have to double click here and i have to open this page now here you can see websocket client connected okay subscribe to the topic and receive message on the topic and whatever the value the publisher is going to publish you will receive that value in the browser and you can monitor that value directly in the browser okay and you don't have to rely on the command prompt to monitor the values you can directly monitor the live value in your browser okay javascript will do uh, everything in the back end and you just see this uh, live value in the browser you can create your own html page which has interactive graphics <laughs> i know this html page doesn't have any interactive graphics but you can do that okay you can scale this project uh, as per your requirement but this is just a demo that with the javascript we can monitor real-time mqtt data in the browser using html and websocket 
so i hope this thing is clear okay and if you still have any question or any confusion in this then you can always ping me on telegram instagram whatsapp and if you want to download the project folder or entire code then you can click here and you can get your code okay so i hope this thing is clear and i hope the previous videos are also clear that how to create mqt publisher in the javascript how to create mqt subscriber in the javascript and this video is also clear that how to monitor your real-time mqt data in the browser using javascript and the websocket as you can see here okay so let's meet in the next video okay and in the future videos maybe we will cover more uh, topic regarding javascript mqt opc modbus uh, backnet and opc da so let's meet in the future videos till then take care goodbye and thank you